All right, so this is Star Wars Unlimited. It's a fast-paced uh, game where um, the whole point of the game is to defeat your opponent's base. And we each have a 30 hit point base. So essentially, the first person to deal 30 damage will win the game. Uh, we should also have a leader that we get to represent, uh, an iconic Star Wars character. Uh, so I'm Luke Skywalker, you're Darth Vader. Nice epic showdown. Um, leaders start the game in play as a non-unit. They kind of direct their forces from behind the scenes for a while. And then eventually they can come into play on the battlefield themselves and be big, powerful units. They're double-sided. So later in the game, they'll flip over and get to enter the battlefield themselves and fight. And they're quite powerful, so it'll be a, a pretty epic moment that happens. Um, but yeah, the easiest way to deal damage to your opponent's base is through units. Uh, these decks are full of a bunch of units. I can show you a few of them here just to give an example. A nice classic X-Wing. So every card will have a cost in the upper left. It'll be a yellow number. Um, in order to play a card, you'll have resources in your resource row. You'll simply exhaust resources, ready resources, and you go to the big yellow number, two, that should play the card. Every unit, uh, we have two arenas. That's another kind of cool feature with Unlimited. We have a space arena, a ground arena. Every unit will have a little thing above their name telling you which arena they belong to, space or ground. So whenever you play a card or unit, you put it in its appropriate arena. They always end play exhausted. So it'll take a round for them to ready up and attack. Uh, we also have, for example, we a crown unit there. So got a little crown above it. Uh, so the most easy way to deal damage is with uh, units attacking. As an action, you can declare an attack with a unit, a ready unit onto your opponent's base directly. If that's the case, the unit will deal damage and goes power right to your base. Nice and simple. The opponent has no ways to defend naturally. I'll um, we'll give you an example of combat against other units. Since that's a big focus of the game. Uh, say you have that in your deck for some reason. I can declare an attack against your base like I did earlier, or instead attack on another unit in the corresponding arena. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't matter if it's ready or exhausted. If that's the case, we'll deal damage equal to our power to each other. Uh, damage is persistent, it'll stay on there unless the card ability heals it. So simply throw damage on there. Uh, once the unit has damage on it equal to or greater than its hit points, the unit will be defeated. You'll simply lead play, put it in your discard pile. We also have events. They're one time effects. As an action, you play it, pay the cost. Do the ability and have the event in your discard pile. Um, during the gameplay, uh, instead of taking turns separately, we'll kind of take turns at the same time, one action at a time, back and forth. So there's lots of interaction. Um, the most common actions are playing a card, attacking with the units, using an action ability in play, like each of our leaders has an action to use, or taking the initiative. Uh, this is important. Whoever has initiative will start the action phase of the first action each round. So that's an action to take it. Once you take it, you can no longer take actions that round. You're forced to pass the rest of your actions. And only one person can take the initiative each round. Um, we'll let you start with the teams. And then the last thing you do is pass. If you don't want to do something, you can pass. And your opponent has a chance to do something. If the opponent also passes or takes the initiative, the action phase will end. And we'll move on to a regroup phase. Each round consists of two phases, the action phase, regroup phase. During the regroup phase, uh, you'll draw two cards, the top two cards of your deck. And then you may resource any card in your hand into your resource row. And then you'll ready every card to play. And once the regroup phase is done, you'll go on to the next round, which starts with the action phase. And whoever has the initiative will take the first action of the round. And you'll alternate taking the actions during the action phase until we both pass. And back to your phase and so on until somebody wins the game. Um, one unique action is called an epic action. Uh, once per game, you can use your epic action. So we each have that in our leaders. Uh, Darth Vader says if you control seven or more resources, you can deploy them. That means you can, once you have seven resources in play, you don't need to re exhaust them at all. It's just if you control them. So they can all be exhausted. You can still take this action to deploy them and enter play in the ground arena since he's a ground unit. And leaders are also special, they enter play ready. Most units are, will enter play exhausted. The leaders are special, they're really powerful. They'll come and play ready to do battle pretty much immediately. And you can see Darth Vader's stats are pretty huge, a 5-8. Oh, 
you don't make an impact. Uh, some cards also have abilities on top of that, like on attack. As soon as you declare him as attacker, you can trigger his on attack ability. Deal two damage to any of you in play. Um, uh, resources, I guess, to start the game, we'll shuffle our decks completely, draw six cards. You may take one mulligan. If you do, you'll shuffle your six cards back into your deck, draw six new cards. And once you decide to mulligan or not, you'll choose two cards from your hand, just learn to play as resources. So then you'll have four cards remaining. So you kind of start the game a little bit of head start. Instead of one resource, you start two. And normally you're allowed to put one resource down each turn. During the regrow phase, you may resource one card from your hand. So you'll slowly start building up to play more bigger, powerful cards. And eventually you'll get seven to deploy Vader. I'll eventually get to six to deploy Luke, hopefully, once the game ends before then. Uh, the bases deal 30 damage. We each have 30 health, so the first person to deal 30 damage to opponent's base wins. Uh, yeah, go ahead and draw six cards. We can begin. Any more questions before we start? We do have some cards off the side that might come into play. I'll explain those if they do come into play later. So we're each going to take two, two cards from our hand to resources. As resources, yep. Once we both do that, we can start with the first action phase. Uh, I will take a mulligan. This hand's not the greatest. It's just a learning game. Yes. All six. Redraw six. We shuffle, then redraw six. Let's see what you get this time. I'll put those two down. All right. Since you have initiative, you will take the first action. Nope. The most common thing for anyone is to play a card. Exhausted for the ground arena. Yep. There you go. <laughs> a flying stormtrooper. What? <laughs> um, that's a good turn one play. Super efficient. I'll play a surgical droid. A 1 3. To your 3 1. No, I can't put down another resource. Uh, no resources. If you have another 1 cost card, you can play that. Or you have Darth Vader's ability there. So you could pay one resource, exhaust him. Since you played a villainous card this game, that's a symbol, villainous. Okay. You can use this ability to deal one damage from my base and one damage from my droid. That sounds like ah, a good yes. idea. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Exhaust, yeah. Um, I have a resource left over. Uh, Luke's ability says I can give a shield token to a hero unit I played. Unfortunately, the droid's not a hero, so I can't give him a shield. I have nothing else to play, so instead, my action will be to take the initiative away from you. And shields are going to be absorbed to damage? Yeah, I'll show you what shield does. Just, it might come up later on. So this, I can attach a shield to the units. It'll just slide underneath. When that unit will take any amount of damage, prevent all that damage, and pop the shield instead. This just goes out of play again. Okay. Pretty powerful. Uh, so I took the initiative. I have to pass the rest of my turn. You probably have nothing else to do. Just pass. All right, we'll move to the group, regroup phase. We'll start by drawing two cards each. Now you may resource any card in your hand. Does one to your guy. That's how that works. Uh, we're refreshing ourselves as if we can do demonstrations. Uh, right, and then ready every six. card in play. And it is six. Yeah. Yeah. six resource two. And so you All right, two so now we're on round two. Of I have an issue, so I'll start with my action. Let's see. Yep. Uh, let's see. I'll just attack into your Death Star Stormtrooper. I have one power, so I deal one damage, which is lethal. You have three power, I have three hit points, we trade. Now it's your action. Alright, I 
That's a great card. I love it. I don't have a very good play. I'll play a Fleet Lieutenant. Not a great draw, so normally I could attack with another Rebel and get a plus two, but I have nobody to attack with, so he's just a 3-3. Three, three. All right, back to you. Nothing you really want to do, so go ahead and take the initiative. Yeah. So you don't pay anything for initiative? Nope. Just whoever first gets. Whoever's done. Yep. All right. I have very similar, yes. I love the action system, so yeah, we kind of borrowed that. And yeah, I have nothing else to do, so let's go to your phase. Draw two. Wow, this is a weird draw. <laughs> You can, you can resource first, which you definitely want to this early on. Later on, you don't have to resource. Like once you have seven, you might want to just draw two and keep them and play the cards. And then ready every card. All right, you have initiative. Go ahead and take an action. Two of them, holy cow. Now there are two of them. That's really good. I will... Play a second copy of my fleet lieutenant. At least this one has a buddy now. Um, so on, on when I played it, I made attack with a unit. If it's a rebel unit, it's plus two plus zero for this attack. He's a rebel. I will attack for five to your base directly. So can I block with this guy? No. Nope. I attack your base directly, and nothing you can do about it right now. And now it's your action. So if I was attempt to attack one of these guys, he would die. He would, yeah. And then he becomes a resource yep. if I do that. Or I can attack your base. Yep. That's kind of my option, okay? Um, let's attack your base for now. You sure? Oh, yes, I do. Let's not. Let's attack. <laughs> I highly recommend attacking. Right. I would attack this one since this one came into play. Okay. I'm just gonna grab the plus one plus maybe you want to knock him out sooner. Yeah. Or maybe not, I guess. Your choice. Right. I, I could give a shield to this one later on. This one I can't. It's up to you. Uh, we'll attack him. And then he dies. He does? A ready resource, yeah. A ready resource. I guess I might as well use loot. Throw a shield. And then your action. Going out in space, alright. I have nothing else to do, so I will take the initiator from you. We did. Use Vader. Knock the shield off. There goes that shield. A nice shiny shield. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Rieger phase. Killing all my stuff. I don't like it. Um, what happens if you lose Once you deploy them, they just get defeated. They'll flip back over to their non US side, exhausted. You can throw a little X token on here to show you can't use your epic action again, so once the game. But then later on, they can ready and still use your top ability for the rest of the game. So they're never gone for good. Uh, then, yeah, ready everything in play. Well, my fleet lieutenant, you won't put around for very long, so let's put you to use by attacking three to your base. 
the five, right? This is just three. Oh, it's it's back four. Four. They bought us four off. This one? Yeah. Alright, we trade. You become a resource. This is not going to go good for me. Not going to go good for me at all. Uh oh. My daddy's going to come out and give me this round. Most likely. He's so powerful. Why not? He tanks? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I will. Counselor Security Force, 3 7. So I guess it's dead. Yeah. I know. Right. So what's that? Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. I will use Luke. Shield up my Security Force. as well. Yeah. Let's get a five on there. I have nothing else to do, so I will just take the initiative. Now, is this considered a unit? No. Nope. Um, all right, I'm going to also pass. Oh, you can keep going, though. I'm, I'm, yeah, that possession. Oh, because I have seven. Yeah. You yes. don't have to spend them. You only just spend them, no? Oh, okay, yes. Here he is. And he is ground. Oh, no, they're always going to play ready. All right. They're amazing. All right. Go ahead, keep doing whatever you want. All right. I'm going to attack your base. And then I get to deal two damage. Off the shield. And then plus two. I'll do four damage. Attack your snow trooper. Yikes. Yep. Alright, go to rear phase, draw two. Uh, uh, I forgot about the you card down. You don't have to. Yeah. No, you can keep both. Yeah, it's optional. And you have seven resources, so go ahead and keep both. That changes. That's what I was going to think I did because he had boosted. Yeah, so it was the good I completely forgot. All right, so I have initiative. I'll start by attacking for three. It's probably a lost cause. I'll just keep it in your base. Well, I will. Base for two, dealing one on my base. Well, 
go big with our ATS. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, those aren't playing exhausted. But yeah, that's 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 big. <laughs> I'll use Luke. I'll give it a shield. Oh, deploy Luke. Sentinel Man. <laughs> Alright, uh, he kills your droid, he dies as well. Uh, I will take initiative. There's always what's the point of having the initiative if I cannot uh, immediately kill something. This is fine. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, this is not going well. So take your base for four, use his abilities to give a shield. And pass. You'll have Luke die to your ATS team and deal four damage to it, giving the a shield. Alright. So three, I will ruin your plans. Who is the sentinel? Oh yes, to be on board or not? No, no, he doesn't. So wait, you have to base. Uh, we want to do two damage to you. Uh, let's do... They both have armor, hey? Okay. These two are shields, yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll have to do that. There's one. That's fine. fine. No, no, it's fine. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Uh, now I'll play Whaley. Oh, no. ATSD. Darn it. Oh, they have attacked on him first. Too much <laughs> um, uh, I was already having too much health. Uh, yeah, you played much more. I know. Much more efficient. We are going to the um, very, uh, great. Oh, let's just do the attack in here. Actually, let's do four damage to that. Not a lot to do. Attack your base. Liberty gunship. Do damage on this. This is an ambush. So you ready us. And attack right away. It's another okay. unit. So why when he, why when his units died, did they become resources? Uh, uh, one of them had the... That's an ability. Oh. Uh, very strong. Uh, so you're attacking this guy? Yeah. Alright. He's dead. Uh, I'll use the X as a 10. That's fine. Uh, oh, so cool. I've been hanging onto this forever. Oh. I can't play yet, but. Right. Shoot down. Um. I'm not. Alright. Uh, so, attack that. On the shield. Um, I pass. Uh, it's not going to matter, but. Yeah, I'll just hit your base for four, give a shield back. And pass. He's back. 
Uh, how much damage do you have on your base? 18, 19. All right. Um, I'll attack your base for four. We'll use Luke to give him a shield token. Attack your base. Take an issue. Okay. I will pass them as like couple nights. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, we're going to spend three for Waylay to send that shit back to your hand. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not much choice. That's great, but. Swing. Do we get something else? Attack your base for four, that's so all I got. How close did I get there? Three away? Yeah, two away? 29. 28. 20, 20, 27. <laughs> 24. Wow, that was a close one, though. Yeah. If I did, I, I did resource poorly, I should have not done this. Where is it? If I didn't resource this, I would have won the game. <laughs> Attack with you. Three more. I like this a lot. Oh, really that's good. <laughs> That's awesome.